hello boys welcome back to another session of video tutorials and this session is meant for class 11th biology students and this is for 4th february 2021 as we have been into the revision mode we are revising the entire syllabus by taking one chapter after the other as part of it today <coughs> we are dealing with a chapter called locomotion and movement for your batch you may recollect some of the portions in this chapter are deleted only some portions are kept for the exam sake so based on the topics that have been retained the questions are being formed so you need not study the entire chapter only the retained topics of the chapter you must study already have posted in our whatsapp group what are the topics that are retained what are the topics that are deleted from the chapter so the primary aim of doing this uh, revision in the form of test paper 2 test paper 1 already we have done test paper 2 is to make you familiarize with uh, one more question and uh, two more questions three more questions and most important long type answer five more questions how to present your answer this is the crux second in this chapter you will come to know which are the areas that need to be focused upon keeping that in our mind here we go with the questions question one name the tissue which connects muscles to bone so it is muscles to bone another one is there bone to bone okay next what is the function of myoglobin third what causes fatigue means tiredness of muscle fibers question four which kind of muscle fibers are richly found in the extensor muscles now you must know extensor muscles present on the back of human body this is back of the human body what characteristics enable those fibers to serve their purpose next question five give differences between red muscle fibers and white muscle fibers other than of course color question sixth what are floating ribs how many of them are there question seven represent diagrammatically a sarcomere and label its parts which of these parts shorten during muscle contraction remember recollect from your memory mechanism of muscle contraction and the diagram question 8 describe any three disorders of muscular system disorders okay muscular system disorders question number 9 describe the various kinds of joints in human body according to mobility giving one example each remember i told you when we were dealing with this joints i said this is a expected question from this chapter and important a question from this uh, chapter also you need to draw various diagrams of different joints also now take a paper start answering the questions after 30 minutes or 40 minutes depending on your speed come back to the answers session compare your answers with the answers that is given here with question one of course tendon tendon is non-elastic connective tissue that connects muscles to bone what about bone to bone ligament okay so don't get confused ligament and tendon and uh, i told you that uh, ligament is the area or an organ that will not get blood supply so once the ligament is cut or torn one need to undergo an operation that's the thing at least a tendon okay muscle to bone it has got blood supply but then ligaments very difficult so take care when you are running jumping uh, playing normally it is called uh, uh, sports uh, people disease so ligaments have to be taken care question two myoglobin stores oxygen in the red muscle fibers as oxymyoglobin which helps in 
aerobic oxidation of the glucose in the muscles so basically muscles get energy then question 3 lactic acid is produced in the muscles during intense exercise as a metabolic byproduct of anaerobic respiration now watch out this word anaerobic respiration so what is essential you have to ensure that it should be aerobic respiration for that what is required before you start playing any game before you start running you need to warm up don't all of a sudden start 100 meter dash okay you need to train your muscles you need to provide lot of oxygen to your muscles and uh, then only the glucose gets oxidized and uh, 36 atp molecules are provided to your glucose but if you don't do that all of a sudden you start then anaerobic respiration takes place and lactic acid is the product so when uh, lactic acid accumulates accumulates in the muscles and that results in muscle fatigue uh, you normally you people call it as muscle catch you know so lot many times muscle catch takes place because of this lactic acid formation so you need to provide lot of oxygen what is the way to provide oxygen to the muscle warm up warm up before you do some serious action question 4 red muscle fibers are richly found in the extensor muscles present on the back of human body red muscle fibers characteristics the muscle fibers are rich in mitochondria powerhouses of the cell myoglobin slow acting no lactic acid accumulation this is important no lactic acid accumulation occurs as aerobic respiration takes place in them and they can perform sustained action for prolonged time without getting tired or fatigued question 5 answer red muscles of course whenever there is a question on differentiate it is always better you table it don't write like this put a table write one side red muscle other side white muscle and when you are differentiating pick up point based on that differentiate both okay like location for example function so differentiate do not write in the form of a story never write put a table red muscles they are thin muscle fibers now what is that you have to write opposite white muscle they are thick muscle fibers see red muscle thin then red muscles have myoglobins which impart red color to them and these have less amount of myoglobin so no red color white color they have lot of mitochondria they have less mitochondria okay less amount of myoglobin less mitochondria so when mitochondria are less naturally the energy that is there will be less can perform sustained work for a longer period without fatigue can perform fast and strenuous work for a short period the short and brisk uh, this is long undergo aerobic respiration depend on anaerobic metabolism leads to lactic acid production and hence can be fatigued easily so this is how you differentiate the both question sixth floating ribs the last two pairs of ribs recollect the diagram of the chest 11th and 12th pairs are called floating ribs they are dorsally attached to the respective thoracic vertebrae and are free ventrally which are attached neither to the sternum nor to the cartilage of other ribs since they are free they are called floating ribs remember 11th and 12th pairs of the rib bones next diagram of course you need to elaborate this and you must know that this is z band sacromere sacromere contract during muscle contraction cross bridge and uh, myofibril a myofibril myosin filament actin filament now you just differentiate actin filament and myosin filament i band and h band shortens when the muscle contract so that is the crux question 8 disorders of muscular system of course i have been telling you one of the worst diseases that ever happens to a human being is this myasthenia gravis it's an autoimmune disorder unfortunately it affects the 
neuromuscular junctions leading to progressive weakening and paralysis of the skeletal muscles very very horrible disease uh, the person affected with this uh, may not be able to lift a glass of water and drink because it is the progressive weakening of the muscles so it's a very deadly disease they got that no one gets this and we being biologists there will be a way to cure this sooner or later then second of course this is also very very uh, horrible one muscular dystrophy it's a genetic disorder again resulting in progressive degeneration of skeletal muscles so the myofibrils will be lost the, the proteins myosin will be lost tichani it refers to rapid spasm wild contraction spasm or the continued state of contraction due to low calcium in the body fluid of course since it is low it is happening because of low calcium you increase the calcium but with a precaution what is the precaution if if uh, intake of calcium is more then there will be chance of kidney stones so too much is always too bad you have to maintain a balanced one balanced intake and always it is better you take any of these minerals in the form of fruits and vegetables question 9 long type various types of joints when two or more bones are a bone and cartilage meet at a point of contact they form a joint so it is two or more bones so bone bone there should be joint and bone and cartilage they'll be joint the joints help in performing various types of movements in the body of vertebrates three types of joints are found one synovial joints are perfect joints the joints have a fluid filled synovial cavity that is synovial fluid between the articulating surfaces of the two bones synovial joints are capable of performing movements in more than one plane these joints may be of the following categories first one ball and socket joints as the name suggests in this type of joint one bone forms a cup like a depression of socket in which a ball like structure fits that's why we say ball and socket the head or ball can move freely can make the joint in any direction can make the movement in any direction like you are rotating this uh, shoulder 360 degrees hip joints 360 degrees so rotation is possible in 360 degrees joints second hinge joint in this type of joint movement is performed only in one direction so no 360 x example elbow knee joint we are able to move the you are experiencing it only in one direction joints of phalanges fingers toes if for someone tries to make your fingers to move back it will pain you a lot isn't it so movement is only in one direction only unlike ball and socket joint next gliding joints means skipping gliding joints these are the joints in which one surface glides means a slip down or another such joints are found in vertebral column backbone next pivot joint one bone of the joint is always fixed and the other is able to move freely over the former such joints can be seen in the skull of a man which moves freely over the adenoid processes that is second neck vertebra next saddle joints it resembles ball and socket joint except the ball and socket are not fully developed next second type of joint imperfect first one what we have talked is perfect now imperfect joint the joints which do not possess synovial capsule or connecting ligaments are called imperfect joints example the joint between ilium of pelvic girdle and transverse process of sacral vertebra third one immobile joints means as the name suggests joints will not be move moving joints which are permanently fixed and cannot perform any movements are termed as immobile joints these are fibrous joints having dense fibrous connective tissue uh, already you must have guessed our skull various flat skull various bones they are fused with each other these joints do not allow any kind of movements so this is how you need to present your long answer type questions hence 
keep on practicing and in our next session